why do you think pre-pandemic the society has become so disconnected? And then the the second element to that is what of the ne- which of the negative habits of the of the pandemic have, have carried through, which is making this problem worse than it was before. So I think there's a lot, but let's focus on one in particular. So before the pandemic hit, we were the loneliest society in human history in the Western world. There's a study that asks Americans, how many close friends do you have who you could turn to in a crisis? And when they started doing it years ago, the most common answer was five. Today, the most common answer is none, right? Um, There's 41% of Americans agree with the statement, nobody knows me well. What, what is life like if nobody knows you well? I spent a lot of time discussing this, and that was before the pandemic. Obviously, then the pandemic hit, and we had to separate because to prevent the spread of an airborne virus. And I remember I spent a lot of time interviewing a man named Professor John Cassiopo, who's at the University of Chicago, who was the leading expert on loneliness in the world. And it sadly subsequently died. And um, he made a huge series of breakthroughs. Firstly, he he proved that that loneliness has massively increased. And secondly, he proved that loneliness causes depression. I know that might sound like a bit of a no shit Sherlock (laughs) discovery, but until then it was thought that depression caused loneliness. You got depressed and that made you lonely. And of course that does happen sometimes, but he also proved the causation goes the other way. Loneliness more often causes depression. And I remember him saying to me one day, you know, why do we exist, right? You, me, everyone listening, why are we here? One key reason is that our ancestors in the savannas of Africa were really good at one thing. A lot of the time they weren't bigger than the animals they took down or faster than the animals they took down, but they were much better at banding together into groups and cooperating, right? Just like bees evolved to live in a hive, humans evolved to live in a tribe. And we are the first humans ever to disband our tribes. And that happened long before COVID made it necessary for us to have a period of social distancing. and uh, and this is a key it's one of the nine key reasons what uh, that cause depression anxiety and it's one of the ones that's been absolutely exploding right and i think it's partly there's there's a big debate about why did loneliness increase so much and i think there's a, a big debate about that and it's the truth is we don't really know although there's many factors clearly that have played some role i think one is we've started to tell ourselves very extreme individualistic stories about who we are and what we should be that no previous human society ever told right we think about even when we try to cheer each other up like if someone's depressed often people will 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 say to them on facebook or whatever nobody can help you but you right things like that these these kind of weird little cliches we set which is completely wrong right actually lots of people can help you but you in fact we all need people to help us other than us but this kind of belief that you've got to do it yourself, that, 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 that a successful person is a self-determining individual, right? No human has ever been a self-determining individual. If you were, you know, if you tried to be a self-determining individual, you would just die, right? The, the, um, you, you are entirely dependent on other people the whole time. None of us grow our own food. We don't, you know, you didn't raise yourself from babyhood. You didn't, you didn't teach yourself the language we're now speaking in. It's a crazy way of thinking. And it promotes, of course, some individualism is healthy, right? We don't want to become like the Amish or whatever, who are entirely collective. Uh, we want to have some individuality. We don't want to be like the Soviet Union, which is a fucking horrifying nightmare of, of collectivism. Some individualism is healthy, but extreme individualism, which is what we have, just produces all sorts of pathologies. And one of them is it just makes people, it, it gives you the wrong map to guide yourself through life, right? Um and it trains you to 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 look for happiness in all the wrong places, to not seek help when you when just in ordinary pain, you know. Um, so I think that's one reason. There's lots of reasons, but that's um, that that's one of them.